Top of the world, world. What's going on with y'all out there? New child back at you one more again, man. Just, just sending peace, love, positive vibrations to wherever you at. This the inspiration station you tuned into. Real time radio. New child, voice of the people, baby. Just want to tell y'all, or ask y'all rather, where's the love at? That's, the, that's what we're going to talk about today. Where's the love, man? The real love. The unconditional love for one another. And let's start with, you know, first and foremost, just, you know, where's the love when it comes to supporting each other? Like, if you know your homeboy or your homegirl starting a business, you know, venturing off into something that they really love and are passionate about and they have drive and ambition and, you know, they, they are looking for your support and encouragement. And a lot of times, those are the things that give them that extra fire, man, that extra push, if you will, when things don't, you know, go their way, so to speak, or don't go as, as planned. To have a family member or a friend that you've known for 5, 10, 15 years give you a call or a text and say, hey, man, hey, hang in there. Hold on. Keep going on. Keep pushing through it to get to it. It's gonna get it gets greater later. That's what I tell people. It gets greater later. You gotta stay in it to win it. Mind over matter. You understand? And 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 you have what it takes to to survive and to to be successful. But where's the love at? It's it's like I had a friend of mine send me a text the other day. It was a little meme, and it was funny, but it had a lot of truth to it. It, it said, uh, you know, you post got a new job. 243 likes, 76 comments. You know what I'm saying? Got the job. And then if you post, I got, I just started a new business, it's like 17 likes, three comments. And it's, it's funny because, once again, it's funny, it's comical, but it's, it's very true. Because I've, I've seen that with myself. I've seen it with other brothers and sisters that have started businesses on their own. And... Not even just businesses, but just ventured off into doing something that's not the norm. Now, you know, going left when everybody else is going right. Going right when everybody else is going left. Doing somersaults when everybody else is doing cartwheels. Why? Because God created us to be individual excellence. You know what I'm saying? To be excellent at, in our individuality. As, a, as, as, as spiritual beings having this human experience, we should be the best that we can be. Expand our horizons every day. And we should support people that do that, man. Genuinely. If you know you know somebody is really, you know, they're they doing something, especially if it's, it, it's legal, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and it's honorable, why not support them? Why not post it on your Facebook page? Hey, you know, my buddy just opened a barbershop salon. Hey, my man just opened a tax office. Hey, you know, uh, uh, my man just opened up a car wash. You know, go support him, blah, 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 blah. My man just opened up a restaurant. My aunt just opened up a restaurant. Whatever it is, I'm just giving, throwing all kind of examples out there because that's what, what entrepreneurs do and people that don't want more of the same. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having a job or whatever, but... I'm talking, you know, specifically to just people who live and think outside of the box and who rarely get support until, you know, the world knows about it or people outside of their community know about it. That's when they start getting support. And it's usually from people that they don't even know. Those are the people that support you the most and show you the most love and spend, I wouldn't even say spend their money with you, invest their money with you and then come back and bring others. And your friends, friends and family are the last ones. And then they come around, <laughs> I know I can get a free, I can get a free sandwich when I come up here. Hell no, newsflash. Nah, I don't work like that. So that's number one. You know, when somebody, you know, you somebody you know is doing something honorable, respectable for themselves and their family, support them. Show them genuine love. Y'all go on Instagram, y'all go on Facebook and show your favorite celebrity love and y'all repost and share and, and, and their new videos and their new clothing lines and all this stuff and rant and rave about it, stand in lines, but somebody you've known for all your life, you won't do none of that for. 
where the love at. Now, let's get to, let's let's dig even deeper. Just watching the news here out here in Atlanta, and it's not a secret. You see the brother rest in peace, the brother bankroll fresh. He was just murdered out here recently. Tonight on the news, they're showing two more people were murdered inside of a studio. And it just spawned me to say to myself, like, what's going on with us? Where is the love for real? That we keep slaughtering each other. Y'all don't you know, see what this, what's going on, man? We just killing, 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 killing each other. And it, it, from, from what I heard through a bird, from the, through the grapevine, the KKK was just, you know, having their little uh, get-together up at Stone Mountain. I ain't hear about nobody going up there with no AKs or whatever. And if they were, salute to y'all. But y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the hood generals. It, it, you know, we, we got to stop aiming the guns at each other and show love to each other. Embrace each other, man. Bring each other up. Rappers, man, whether, I don't care whether you're from Atlanta. I'm from East Harlem, man. Born and raised, born and, raised and that, that's forever in me, embedded in me. Wherever I go, I'm that. But let me say this to y'all. Wherever you go, you should embrace other brothers and support them, man, and show them love. And for the youngsters that's watching, you say, well, what's love? Good question. Love is, man, is just treating people, man, how you want to be treated, man, genuinely. Embracing another brother. What's up, fam? How you, how you feel? You good? All right, man, stay up. 100. I see people in the streets out here in the A all the time, and I say, what's up, bro? Good morning. How you feeling? Oh, man, I'm top of the world. How I don't like cloud surfing. They be like, yo, that's what's up. I need to get like that, too. Just just gen being genuine, man. Supporting each other. Embracing one another. Taking time to get to know each other. That's love. It ain't, you see, we, we get caught up in thinking love is soft. And as a black man, nah, I ain't into that. That's some gay shit. Nah, bro. It's the other way around. That's some sucker shit not to show your brother love. To want to aim a pistol or AK at a man that's going through the same struggles like you, who's who, who these racist ass KKK cops will shoot down in a second, you waving your gun at him and wanting to kill him, and that's the man that you should be bonding with and, and embracing and trying to learn and build with. And any way I can help you, brother, let's help each other. Hey, if I, you know, if that's your family, I know your wife, your kids, whatever, you know, when they around me, they're going to be all right. That's what love is, man. That's respect. That's honor, loyalty, respect, being an honorable man. We got to stop this killing, y'all. I mean, for real. And it's going on in East Harlem, too. I'm getting, you know, I see news of the little kids getting shot up in the projects. In the head, 16-year-olds, it was going on when I was a kid, but it seemed like it's getting worse. And for the for the for the OGs and the brothers who season, we gotta give back, man. We gotta we gotta start with the youngsters right where they are, embrace them, show them a new way of thinking, speaking, behaving, dressing. But we gotta be the example. We gotta show them where the love at. When they see us as the older brothers, 30, 40 years young. Vibrant, healthy, strong, and, 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 and showing respect and love to each other, they'll follow suit. So with that, man, I just want to say, I just want to share that with y'all to make y'all think a little bit more about embracing one another and really showing the love, man. Where's the love at? I want y'all to ask yourself that. Ask yourself that when you when this when this video stops. You know. Where's the, where's the love? And start with yourself because if you don't love yourself, you can't love no one else. 100.